Well, g'day folks, we're on our way to tape the Hollywood Walk of Fame star ceremony of Walter Kronig. I hope some of the other characters will be there. This is Rick the Tour Guide and I hope you enjoy the footage immensely! <laughs> Today, Hollywood honors Walter Kenny. Yeah. And on that note, Walter. Well, you know, this was the city that did this, Walter. So what do you expect? They misspelled his name. But I assure you, the star is spelled correctly. Is that right, Anna? It is spelled right. All right. Well, we'll all find out when we unveil the star if it's spelled correctly. So, we'll get this corrected and have the city uh, come out with a new edition here, Walter. But this, but this will be very good if you want to sell it on eBay. <laughs> so, $100! I'm sure someone will bid on it. $150. So, $200. Without further ado, let me just say, in memory of our late great honorary mayor, Johnny Grant, we hereby declare this Sir, Walter Koenig Day in Hollywood. Yeah. A very touching experience, and obviously a very memorable one. And even if my fault in your memory, I will come sure I will take this, this moment with me. Very the hereafter. This is a, this is a very, very much to be proud of, and I, I am. You know, I am, I'm sort of putting in mind of um, a story of you know, for you, our country to start, what that is to be, goes, and, you know, in a place uh, where the people are. Watch out behind you, you got folks coming up. Uh, in detention. Uh, that's why I need that pass. I Some things happen fast, and some things take a long time. 
This took a long time. It took long, should have happened a long time ago, but we're happy to be here for water. A well-deserved day. I remember uh, when Warwick came on board the Enterprise. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. There were people that had reasons for bringing this character on board at the time. Our major adversary was the Russians. And it was decided that we were saying to show a positive aspect of the future. And you can see that so on Also at the same time, the Beatles were a big deal. And uh, they had these interesting haircuts. So somebody said, for a little extra insurance, maybe we'll pick up from the Beatle audience, we'll put a Beatle wig on him. <laughs> and uh, and one thing then sat down Everybody keep <laughs> with this an excellent you. Russian accent and a Beatle wig. <laughs> and something interesting happened, something unexpected happened. It turned out that Walter was a good actor. And he took these slim dimensions of a character that had been handed to him, and he created a three-dimensional flesh and blood person who made an enormous contribution to Star Trek over the years. Accent on the streets of San Francisco asking where he could find a nuclear vessel. We, uh, we of Star Trek have been very blessed to have such a wonderful following for so many years, 46 years. Uh, yesterday, I guess, was the anniversary of that. Since we went on the air. And, uh, and each and every one of the, of the actors made an important contribution. Walter, as much as anybody, was there any time he was called on to deliver whatever the role was, whatever the role called for. He knew how to do it. He was well trained, totally professional deliver the goods every time. We're very grateful to them. So to Walter and all of yours, your, your family, your friends, whatever, and especially to you, live long and prosper. Thank you. Yeah. All right, it's time to unveil the star. So this is cool. Guys, please keep moving back here. Thank you. <laughs> green light, green light. Folks, that was it, the major ceremony. I sweated, but I had a good time seeing Spock and other Star Trek heroes. Know what I'm saying? All right, I uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video. This is Rick, the tour guy. Bye, catch you later. I'll put in Manhattan. Yeah. And if you hear anything you like, Ooh, feel free. Oh, to yeah. His parents were yeah. Russian, Jewish, and the Republic of Lithuania. 
He attended New York public grammar schools and did his first on-stage work in high school with the lead role in both Peer Gimp and Shaw's Devil's Disciple. He went on to college in Iowa and later transferred to UCLA. Now there have to be a few Bruins out there. He received a BA in psychology, which of course helped him very much in his career. Walter's professional acting career spans 50 years of stage, television, and film work. He has appeared on television more than 100 times in no less than 42 separate roles. His remarkable talents and range as an actor have won him accolades for roles including everything from a teenage gang leader in Alfred Hitchcock Presents to a middle-aged Tom Sawyer in The Boys in Autumn. Walter was one of the seven main cast members of the original Star Trek television show. And as we all know, that show aired originally from 1966 to 1969. The show is without question an iconic part of television history. Walter's char character, Chekhov, was more than just one of the four supporting crew members on Star Trek. Walter's performance gave viewers a witty, intelligent, and dedicated Russian patriot who was nearly impossible to dislike. Chekhov is best known for his sense of humor, quirky accent, and oddball nationalism, which only illustrates that Everybody the audiences in the 1960s Thank were you. able to accept his respected, efficient membership in the bridge crew so effortlessly that they completely forgot that the character was one of their most feared enemies at the time, a Russian. <laughs> Now, a star studded two days ago. About goddamn time. <laughs> I've known Walter for 20 years and have found astonishingly what a wonderful man this is, what an incredible talent he is. This is someone who, if you look at the Star Trek series, the reason that did so well, granted, the writing was mostly pretty good. The actors, brought those characters to life in such a way that it became not just a subculture thing, but a part of the culture itself. When you make a Star Trek reference, now you don't have to explain it. As a kid, I would have said Klingon, what the hell is a Klingon? Well, we know now. You don't have to explain it. That's because of the craft and the intelligence and professionalism brought to the roles of Walter and many others, who I was saying blessed to inherit on Babylon 5 when he brought Bester to life for us and was able to be funny, charming, scary, and dangerous all in the same scene. And I just can't believe how he showed us his study. Oh my God, was I flabbergasted. Four walls lined with books, big little books, comic books, action heroes, toy, <laughs> thousands of toy toys. <laughs> it was a 14 year old boy's fantasy dream. <laughs> They never had a contentious relationship. They always were like two aliens from in a strange land who discovered they spoke the same language. And they could talk politics and they could talk anything in the world and they would grunt each other's approval and they liked it. And uh, this went on and on and of course after that our careers took off. Walter got more and more famous and uh, it seems to me that he has millions of fans around the world, but if all the other planets had life, he would have a million more. Uh -huh. <laughs>